So you executive produce the Aura from Detroit. Tell everyone what it's about. Um, it is a murder mystery or a mystery wrapped inside of a comedy, wrapped inside of an enigma, wrapped inside of the amazing mind of Diara Kilpatrick. Mm. She is um, such an amazing writer and star of the show. She came and she had an idea. And I'm like, I haven't heard this before. And it's coming from a black girl. And she is a true, true daughter of Detroit. Um, you know, Kwame Kilpatrick. <laughs> Detroit. Uh, Kwame Kilpatrick, the ex-mayor of Detroit, was her, was her brother. You know oh. what I'm saying? She is from, like, from, from Detroit. And Detroit is a, plays an amazing backdrop and character part of this, this show. And I feel like we got such an amazing cast. Uh, um, and it's, it's, I'm, I'm so happy to be a part of it. That's awesome. I got to meet her not too long ago, and she is an amazing young she lady. She really is. She is. I'm so serious. She really is. Can't wait to see what more she does in the future. Or maybe okay. she'll write something for you. Oh, maybe she'll write something for me. <laughs> Seriously. Oh, my goodness. There you go. <laughs> Clap for that. Okay. Now, you created, directed, you write all of these things. So you, you write so much and create so much. Do you ever have imposter syndrome? I don't not ever have imposter syndrome. Not ever? Oh, okay, that's I, good. I live in like, oh, my God, they're going to find out. <laughs> <laughs> but I feel like that's what kind of drives you, you know yeah. what I'm saying? The idea of, I think that every time, anytime people, for me, that I start seeing, they just know that, they, that their thing is the thing, that's when you start to have a fall off. Mm -hmm. I think you always have to feel like when you turn the script in, they're going to hate it, they're going to hate it, they're going to mm -hmm. Oh, they don't hate it. I feel like that's how you keep driving yourself to like dot your I's and cross your T's. Um, mm -hmm. And just so you know, stay humble and stay hungry. Yeah. Yeah, that's how you stay successful, like you. <laughs> I have one thing. He got one thing. Go ahead. What's your one thing? I'm a, t I'm a tiny desk enthusiast. Okay. You like tiny desks. You I didn't say that. I love tiny desks. I like I, tiny desks. I, 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 Scarface, to me, was my, one of my favorite. I want you uh -huh. to please come grace us with a tiny desk. I would... <laughs> I would love to do that. I, I think you would. Kill it. Oh my goodness. I think you would kill it. I think you would take us to church and back and everywhere else. I Thank think you. that literally your voice is a gift. Thank and I you. think to do that in that setting, people would love it. So I will watch it. Okay. Over, 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 over. Look for my tiny desk. <laughs> if you like this video, smash that like button and subscribe to the Jennifer Hudson Show YouTube channel. Check your local listings or visit jenniferhudsonshow.com to see when you can watch four episodes in your area. And don't forget to sign up for the newsletter.